Hey guys, got another little short video. Today's project, one of several, was to drill and tap the uh, oil cooler block off piece for the side of the oil pan for future oil supply to my turbo. And naturally, I'm not the one who invented this, and I'm not the first person to do it. But I just want to kind of walk you through the steps and kind of give you the ins and outs of what's going on and what to expect. First thing is, is when you want to tap this hole, you're going to need a 1 8 27. It's 1 8 NPT 27. It's a really fine thread tap. Let's see if I can show it to you here. Mine's not in the best shape of all time because I've had it for a long time. But you're going to need a 1 8 NPT 27 tap. You're also going to need a 21 64 drill bit. Here's the weird part. When you go to, to open this up, because basically what you're going to do is you're going to open that hole from the stem into the oil feed portion. The top of this is already bigger than 21 64. So you're going to be like, okay, hold on, is this going to work? Because you'll literally stick your 21 64 drill bit down inside of there and it won't touch the sides or anything. You'll clean out a whole bunch of dirt and crap that's been collected in there since whatever year this was made. And then you'll start hitting aluminum. Just hold it as straight as you can. And just keep drilling until you poke through down here into this uh, cavity. You can see the hole I made. That's a 21 64 hole into the oil cavity, which will be the supply. Then you just clean it out. Uh, chuck it up. What, what I did was uh, put it in a vise. Let me show you how I got this thing put into the vise. Just a second here. Because you don't want to damage this flat surface. This gasket sealing surface do not clamp to this surface at all so basically what i was able to do was put it in this way and clamp to those outer surfaces that aren't part of the flat machine sealing surface for your gasket clamp it down and this is how i did my drilling and my tapping. Hopefully your tap isn't as old and worn out as mine. Because it took three or four, like, you know, going in until it started feeling a little sketchy. Back it out, clean the chips, go back in, go till it feels a little sketchy, pull it out, clean the chips. Just go slow in steps. And I was able to work that tap into the part down to where it got to where I just, there was no way I could turn it without breaking something or clamping so hard that I'm going to do damage to the actual piece. So I got it all put in there. Let me snug it up just a hair. All I have right now, I'm going to run to Star Performance tomorrow and get a brand new fitting. Uh, it's just a dash 4 AN on this side with the 1H MPT, 1 8th MPT on this side. This happens to be a nitrous filter piece, which, you know, I could take something and knock that filter out, but this thing has been used and abused for years. So basically you just get this thing tapped, get everything cleaned out. I will put thread sealer of some type on here, even if it's just RTV or whatever, to make sure that I have absolutely no leaks so my plan is, see this will finger tight down to about three threads showing. Then I can put in another thread and a half with the uh, 13 millimeter wrench. That is a really snug fit with pipe dope or some kind of thread sealer. That thing is not going to leak. Now, as many of you know, I'm not starting out with my turbo on the, on the car. So basically, I'm going to go to Star and buy a cap. It's just a Dash 4 AN cap that I can put on here and seal this off. So then I'll already have my oil feed 
tapped and ready to go whenever I get my turbo put on the blazer. My next project is going to be to drill and tap a return line fitting. I believe it's, I think it's dash 10 into the timing cover. That'll be, hopefully be tomorrow's project. And I'll make a little short video on that too. So anyway, I'm using what I have. I was going to go ahead and use this. And I thought I had another one of these nitrous fittings and that was in a little bit better shape and it was a little bit darker blue, but apparently today I can't find it. Uh, I, cause I could easily just knock that little filter out of the bottom of that and use it. You know, I had played with the idea of just leaving the filter on there and I was like, no, I'm not going to do anything that can impede the oil flow to the turbo and burn up the bearings or something stupid like that. So anyway, there is my modified oil cooler block off plate. You guys don't have, just so you'll know, this is actually one of my son's tools i bought these uh, this was a complete little carry with you uh, socket set i bought at aldi's years ago that has these fits all it's like more points than a uh, 12 point and it almost will grab anything even a stripped fastener this thing works perfect on that square drive for that tap so not saying go out and buy some of these, but if you just happen to have these in your toolbox, these fits all fits all shapes work good on taps. So anyway, not trying to make it a super long video. Just wanted to share one of today's little projects that I finished and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So as always, thanks guys for watching. Hopefully you will share, like, subscribe, hit the little bell and get people to come see the channel. Thank you guys.